Right, so I've just got home and one of the jobs I've been meaning to do for a while now is a deep clean on my Swan Hoover. I know a lot of people have messaged as well saying how you clean them and the maintenance of them basically. So I'm going to do it now and I'm going to show you exactly how to give it a good old clean. Every Hoover needs to be maintained. You can't just expect it to work the same and never touch it. You need to clean it, you need to clean filters. You also at some point will need to say on most hoovers you need to change the head they do get worn so you may need to buy new ones um so there's always maintenance to hoovers for them to carry on working exactly how you want them to work all right so i need to start taking the hoover apart now let's just bend to it so first things first i'm going to take the head of the hoover off so you push this button down and that will slide off like so um, obviously I need to give the brush and everything a clean and remove all the hair but we'll do that in a minute so that's the first bit off now to take off this bit you need to push this button down obviously I'm trying to do this all one handed and then push that away as well so you pull that and then push that button down and that will release that so that's all part it's just easier to clean when it's in separate parts rather than trying to clean it all one big part basically right so i'm going to talk you through which parts can be cleaned um so first things first here is the post motor so it, you can see it's got like a little lock hit, um, symbol here and you literally simply turn it so i'm just going to turn it now so you just twist it to the left and lift so that takes that lid off there and then in here is the post motor motor filter so um, this can be cleaned but you don't need to do it that often it's every six months so you literally give that a clean so that's the first bit that can be cleaned um, obviously that'll pop back on after right so I'm just gonna um, show you where the other part of the filter is but i actually need to empty my hoover so there's two ways of emptying the hoovers i'm just going to show you now so the first way is to lift this you can see that's just literally simply lifts up and that will release this look at that let's push that back in that's one way or the other way is to twist you literally twist it to lift like so and that is how you can empty your hoover as well so i've just got a bag here that i'm just gonna Put that all into, just give that a little shake out. Um, yes, so let me get rid of that. Right, so now we can release the filter. So this is the bit you can also clean. You just turn this to the left, hear the click and then pull. That is it out. Now this is into three bits, I believe, if I remember rightly. Um, there's your first bit, your second bit, and then in here is a third bit, which you can clean as well. So I'm gonna to need to um, use two hands to get that out. Um, so yeah, I think, unless I could possibly pull, I think you can actually, yeah. Let me just do this. This would be a lot easier if I had both hands. Now these can all be washed, all three parts, um, along with the motor filter as well. So yeah, there we go. There's your three bits. Look at the mess I'm making. Right, so what I do next is I use a tiny bit of surf, I mean a tiny, tiny bit, and I'm just going to soak these all in here. Oops, just dropped that. Um, that goes in that so. Same with this. Look at that. See that grim. Um, and then even this, even though it's just plastic, I'm gonna stick it in. Why not? Mm -hmm. Right. So that's all just gonna soak in there for a little bit. And then you need to really make sure you give them a good rinse after. Um, thoroughly so let's leave them in soak like so right so i'm now going to turn my attention to the brush i need to release this bit so all you do is use a knife or something flat as you can see that bit there and you just twist that to the right 
and then you lift that up that just releases it and you're in and all you do is pull this up now I know people are going to go oh these are really annoying to clean and obviously maintain they're not all you do is use a pair of scissors and what I would say about this style of hoover it picks up so much better than other brands because it, it the brush effect is better it gets hold of it so it's not hard you just get a pair of scissors I'm going to show you and cut along it's, it really isn't hard um so that's that released basically I'm just wearing some rubber gloves because I find it's easier just to grip hold of hair and stuff with gloves on. And we're pretty much there. Look at that. Better. Right, so these two bits I will wash and um, give them a good rinse. These bits I'm just going to um, use some flash wipes basically to give them a wipe over the lemon ones they smell so good um so yeah and then i'll just rinse out the filters and then they need to dry so i can't put it all back together until the filters are completely dry and i think that's 24 hours so yeah it's going to look lovely when it's all clean 